We'll get to it. Uh, and, and another thing, guys. If you don't know about the Lord Jesus Christ, please Google him. He's worth Googling. He's worth getting a Bible and reading about. Um, anybody else is not. I'm not. Uh, Shannon's not. Uh, Emily Artful's not. These people don't matter. At the end of the day, I don't matter. The only thing that matters is if you repent and call on the name of Jesus. That's the only thing that matters. And uh, that's all I'm going to say. Welcome to episode number four. Um, Y'all are getting more creative with your voicemails. And I got some repeat offenders. <laughs> Look at you. Giving me two voicemails at a time. Yes. I'm going to get to every bit of it. Um, I realize... <laughs> um, we're going to talk about truth today. One of the things that someone said... You have not proven who you are. You've given nothing. Well, for starters, um, yes, I have. Um, and some of my comments that the reason people started saying, hey, you're Shannon, is because I simply told them, you need to investigate um, who you watch. And what I mean is, what is the person actually saying? Are they claiming to be Shannon? I am not. I done told you 20 million times at this point. I'm not Shannon. Um, so let's, let's think about it. If you examine my words, I told you I'm not Shannon. I told you uh, to repent. <laughs> I told you to forgive. And I told you to Google Jesus. I'm pretty sure I told you to Google him. Um, because he's worth Googling. These are the things that are mostly important, right? Because that's all you're pretty much going to hear is these a few things. I'm not Shannon. Google Jesus. Repent. And forgiveness. This is truth. I, I can't tell you any more. Whenever I go in and research someone, I literally go by their own words. Your own words will withhold you or they will slaughter you and bring you to your knees. Right? And that's what I look at. I don't look at somebody making up stuff because they're annoyed. Or they just want to manufacture drama, for example. I think a lot of it with Emily Artful, with Creepshow Art, is manufactured drama. These are some of my original comments. If you ever find the original comments, I'm not going to tell you where they are. Because if you're actually researching you would know where they are. You'd be like, oh crap, there's a whole boatload of them. Yes, there is. Um, there is a few people um, that jumped on a bandwagon and decided to support these so-called friends literally slice their friendship in half because you people, I call you the mob, have decided, you know what, we're going to attack this person and anybody, anybody, that says otherwise than what we're thinking. So even if I showed you stone cold proof, you would not believe it because you don't want to believe it. That's why I'm telling you, I go by words. Whenever I research somebody and do these things, <laughs> I research their words, what they actually have said over a period of time. Okay? From the beginning, I have told you I am not Shannon. Some of you are like, oh, nobody said that, but obviously y'all are all saying it at this point. My voicemail is not one of them is saying, you know what, I don't think you're Shannon. Now, if you would like to give me a voicemail on my podcast, please do so. I listen to all of them. And I like to make videos, apparently at this point, about these voicemails. And that's what I'm going to be doing soon. Um, I... I'm going to wait until more people, that way I can break it up, and I will do two or three at a time in the voicemails, so whatever whatever you want to say to me, go ahead and leave it in the voicemail today, because tomorrow I'm getting to everything. Um, I think this is the truth. 
go back and look on Shannon's timeline. Watch a lot of videos from the beginning and press forward. Okay, I don't mean people's opinions on Twitter. I mean actually what Shannon is saying. Go on Emily Artful and watch from the beginning. What has she erased? Uh -huh. Yeah, erase, erase videos. And she's not the only one. And then they also have a common denominator hater, as I call it. Um, Emily Artful and uh, Creepshow Art, right? Shannon. They actually have one person that really don't like. Neither one of them. And she's well known out there as a hater. I mean, that's what she does. She hates. Um, and she has a lot to do with a lot of this. This misinformation y'all are hearing and this hyped up platform y'all building on. Use some common sense. Why are you hating perfect strangers here? What did they actually do to you? Right? You don't have all the pieces to the puzzle. You've already condemned me. And I laugh at it because I know who I am. So I'm not offended by the things y'all are saying and doing right now. But if someone did the same thing to you, how would you handle it? How would you handle it? Think about these things. I'm not offended. I laugh about it because I know what y'all are doing. Everybody calls me crazy, but y'all are crazy. I'm not Shannon. I'm telling you repeatedly, you need to do your own research. Who are you watching? What are they saying? I mean, Emily Arfil went on a whole video talking about Shannon's husband raped her. And y'all didn't even question it. Not once. I would be questioning this. Because someone that will run on YouTube and say these things and won't handle them legally, I, there's suspicion out the yin-yang with that. I, I don't believe it. I mean, how can you be on drugs, knocked out, don't know who you are, or you're, you're, you know, you're literally knocked out, but yet someone raped you. I don't believe nothing she's got going on. I really don't. Uh, she's not the only one. Do I think Shannon's perfect? No. None of us are. Do she, has she lied? Of course she has. Has Emily Artful lied? Of course she has. Is one lie worse than another? No. As a Christian, I believe in forgiveness. You know, ye without sin cast that first stone. That's really written in the Bible. So, that's where I'm at with it. I know you're not going to like this <laughs> podcast at all. And, of course, I'm going to tell you at every end of the podcast, repent. Repent, repent, repent. Forgiveness it's, a lot of people are just like, it's not for you, it's the other person. No, it is for you. Because if you can forgive, the, our Heavenly Father can forgive you. So it is for you. Um, and remember, uh, Jesus' name. Google Him. Google Jesus. He's worth it. Hi, welcome back. Um... I think this is the fifth, maybe sixth podcast. We don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I've been having issues with YouTube. And I have tried and tried and tried. So I'm not going to worry about it anymore. I'm going to throw my voicemails right on after the podcast. You can listen to them for yourself. Um, I only have one comment. Of course, I'm not Shannon. That's my only comment. Um, I am... I'm actually disturbed by some of these voicemails. I'm not going to lie. Now, this is two voicemails I'm going to put back to back for you guys. And the reason why is the same person. And it, it's... It's kind of disturbing. Uh, I'm going to pray for her. And I ask you guys to pray for her too as well. Um... If this is how you condemn somebody, then this is what I'm going to tell you. Everything you know about YouTube is wrong. Because I'm telling you now, I've done told you, I don't know how many times, I'm not Shannon. I'm not defending Shannon. I, I'm not doing none of these things. I have no friends on YouTube. <laughs> That's evident. I have zero. Um, let's just get to the voicemails. You can listen to them. And I pray you guys, you have a good day, in Jesus' name. 
Hello, Shannon. We all know it's you. You can stop this thing. Like, you're not fooling anyone. But you know, this whole thing that you're trying to do actually makes me feel sorry for you. That doesn't mean I don't feel sorry for all the people you've hurt, because you've hurt so many people, especially Emily, and for so long. But your friends too, the people who thought they knew you, the people who trusted you, and your viewers too. All the people who thought your channel was a safe space and then they see what you posted and <laughs> it's the complete opposite of what you preached. You know, you only talk about your own forgiveness and your comeback. That's the only thing you worry about. You don't care about the people you've hurt. But how can people forgive you if you don't apologize in the first place? Huh? That's something I would like to know. Shannon, please get help. This is sad. And it's serious. You need help. Oh, so now you're trying to gaslight people. <laughs> and now, before you go on one of your little rants, I actually mean gaslight. I know what it means. And I know what I'm saying. You keep saying you've proven that you're not Shannon so many times. Well, where the fuck is that proof? Because <laughs> you literally have not proven shit. You haven't offered any type of proof that you're someone else. We're not stupid, Shannon. We're not fucking stupid. This whole situation has become just concerning at this point. Your behavior is extremely bizarre. And the fact that you can't see that is concerning. Please get help. Because you're not acting like a sane person acts. And that's coming from someone who does struggle with mental health. I'm not saying it as an insult. It's just, please get help. You need it. This is not okay, Shannon. Welcome and thank you for checking out my podcast. This is episode number six. Um, we're going to call it Don't Come For Me Unless I Call You. <laughs> I decided, let me tell you what I did. This is so interesting. I decided to put my name into uh, YouTube. I was like, oh goodness, what's going to come up? And I put my name in, it popped up this video. And I was like, hmm, all right. I clicked on it. I already knew it was bad. <laughs> the moment it started going, I was like, yep, they're talking about me. Yep, they are. I already know. And I listened. Um, and by the way, uh, I left a comment. Don't come for me unless uh, I call you. I'm not Shannon. And yeah, you're basically shredding your credibility. Every time you make videos like this, I believe um, you're not credible. Because obviously I'm not Shannon. And everybody that wants to jump on the bandwagon just to call me that, I don't get it. I don't actually support Shannon. I don't know where... Uh, that lie came from because I've never said I'm in support of Shannon I never said that I said ye without sin cast that first stone is what I've said I said repent I told you to Google Jesus <laughs> uh, there's a lot of things I've said to go do but y'all don't want to do those you want your your hell bent on I must be her I I'm I can't it can't be any other way right no but anyway I watched the video it was interesting um, I read some of the comments. It was interesting. Uh, am I mad? No, of course not. I just thought that I have heard that comment before. Don't come for me unless I call you. <laughs> and I wanted to put it, so I put it. I did it in fun spirit. I didn't do it in meanness. Um, uh, but the shred and the credibility, I was serious. Uh, that's what you're doing. I can't take you serious. If you're going to put up content like that, it makes no sense. It literally does. I am proving a point with every single soul that um, comes in contact with me, basically. The way you have um, convicted me so quickly and hung me up, basically, you lynched me. Um, guess what? You did the same thing to who? Just about everybody that you want to cancel. It's not just Shannon. It's anybody you want to cancel, you're done with it. Um, you have not a shred of evidence that I am Shannon. Not one. And I told you the way I go about researching people is I go by their actual words. What have they said? I tell you to repent and you keep calling me Shannon. 
you say that um, I told you you need to invest in Jesus and you call me creepy um, <laughs> which I laugh at that because I, I'm not offended by the hatred I'm really I'm not if I was I'd be crying and upset and depressed and all these things and I'm just not these things the reason why I love my Lord and Savior um, you can call me creepy you can call me weird you can I, I'm sorry I'm not gonna condemn anybody there's one person um, in particular I made a comment on her channel I don't jive with um, the things she she says and does and then she wonders why things just fall apart you know, even her, she is forgiven. She is forgiven 100%. She has done some and said some really nasty things. She's forgiven. Hands down. She has talked about Christians like they are trash in the ground. She's forgiven. If she asks the Lord Jesus for forgiveness, she's forgiven. Who am I to stand in the way of her maker? You know, who am I to judge? My judgment is not pure. So she's forgiven, even her. Uh, and I say it like even her is because I have a very, very bad disgust for some of the things she says. It, it's just, it's hard to hear. Um, and if you hear a sound in the background, that's my little dog. She doesn't know that I'm trying to do uh, a podcast. I don't make 20K a month, so my house is a lot smaller. <laughs> And my pets, they are just happy to have me home. They are so excited. I walked through the door a while ago. Yay! <laughs> but, um, you know, if you want to continue making videos, I proved my point with you guys very well. You are jumping on me as if. You, I guess you're letting out your emotions. Some of you are, some of the voicemails tells me a strong story of what's going on. You have pure hatred for this person you don't know. And you believe, do you think every YouTube um, channel is telling the truth? Of course they're not. They're lying to you, some degree. They don't want you to know about something. And the reason I tell you this is so you could peel back your eyes and realize there's more to life than sitting on YouTube. Um, I, I made a comment, <laughs> just in fun, uh, 10K and I'll do a face reveal. Uh, I, YouTube is not my thing. I'm sorry, guys. I like to make comments on it. I like to watch, you know, different things. I, I make comments. I'll, you'll be shocked. I watch everything. Um, you know, I love, like, Japanese uh cooking videos for example I just think they're just wonderful and I like pet videos but I make comments on everything and I have learned so much useless information you know but um, I don't take it that serious I, I really don't not YouTube for me I am not about YouTube I don't care um, if I'm just I think it's so sweet whoever wants to sub to me thank you but for me my goal I don't have one you know, the podcast, I started it just so you could hear my voice. So you know I'm not Shannon. And some of you, I would hate for it to be on a jury trial <laughs> with anybody because you're con you're going to convict an innocent person. Some of you are just, God bless you. Mm -mm, no, ma'am. Yeah, I, I would not want y'all on the jury trial looking at real evidence. And you're like, well, let's base it off of how YouTube works. <laughs> because you're going to convict somebody over nothing. Um... Dear Jesus, I, I, I don't know what else to say. Um, going forward, uh, I'm not going to, I am not, uh, until you realize the gap in your research, like Emily Artful, go dig on her for a minute. Go dig on her. You're going to find some stuff. I could list uh, 20 people, right? You're going to find some stuff. Uh, and the reason why certain people are dropping videos, I'm talking about higher up people in YouTube are dropping videos, is because they have the least dirt between each other. So they'll just drop whatever to self-preserve, meaning to make more money, to keep you happy, the mob, as I call you. Um, and for me, 
you know, I don't, I, I don't have to worry about that. I don't live in some high rise or a mansion or drive a Lexus. I don't have none of these things. So I'm, I have nothing to lose by telling you the truth. And the truth is, uh, I made a comment. That's the, all I did was make a comment and that's how everything blew up from there. Right? Um, and anyway, back to what I was saying. The video, I'm not mad if you want to make a video about me, go ahead. But you're going to have to do better than what y'all are doing. I'm not joking. Uh, that is just poor research at, at best. Poor, poor, poor. Um, I had one video I'm going to, I guess I'm going to, I'm going to attach it to this one. Uh, it's not a video, a voicemail. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to attach it. This is what I'm dealing with on some of the voicemails. Someone running a background check on me. So angry with me. Um, for what? I, I am not the person you want me to be. I understand you want to hate Shannon. So you're just going to take it out on me. If that makes you feel better, go right ahead. Go ahead. That's what everybody's been doing anyway. Um, I'm not going to lose no sleep on it. I'm going to actually pray for you guys. Maybe you wake up and realize YouTube is not life. It's not. And this is a lot of manufactured drama to get views from all these people. I don't make anything off of YouTube. Um, the podcast is just fun. I like making podcasts. I think it's really cool. And it's very simple. I don't have to be tech savvy to do none of it. Um, and by the way, I don't have a voice changer. I don't even know how to do that. If I would invest some time, and I'm going to have to invest some time and learn how to edit where it looks really good. You know, I want it to be cool. At least to do one really good video for you guys. Um, maybe like a vlog style. I like stuff like that better actually than sit down and let's talk about how to shred someone. I don't like that. Um, that's just not my cup of tea. But anyway, I'm going to end every, every podcast with, you need to find Jesus. You need to forgive other people. You need to move on and realize YouTube is not the place for you. It's just not. Um, if you want to look up how to fix a car part, I suggest that. And if you are so wound up with this hatred, you need to, you need to pull the plug on YouTube for a while. And then you'll realize none of it actually mattered and it's manufactured drama. And then you research, research some of these people. Um, if I'm crazy or creepy for telling you to repent and find Jesus, you know, uh, okay, that's, that's just what I am, you know. <laughs> uh, I'll take that for my Lord and Savior any day of the week. Um, but forgiving somebody, it is for you. It's not for the other person because... The Lord Jesus, he, he, he tells you clearly, if you forgive others, I'll forgive you. That's truth. That is 100% truth. Um, and young man who made the video, how we started this whole podcast, I, I'm not mad. I just thought um, the phrase, don't comfort me, unless I call you. I just thought it was funny. Um, guys, I will... I guess I'll catch you in the next, uh, ep actually, no, 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 no. I have an interview, uh, at noon today. We'll see how that goes. Um, and uh, keep listening cause you're going to hear the voicemail, the very angry one. All right. Bye guys. You claim you didn't know that art commentary was something people did, and yet you have dirt on all of these YouTubers and say every YouTuber you've ever spoken to is a liar. Um, how are you so involved in YouTube culture that you're speaking to high-profile YouTubers but don't even know a common genre of YouTube video? Um, on your first episode of your podcast, you started off right away by claiming that you aren't Shannon and that there are all these people saying you are Shannon, but you have no social media presence. Um, so where are the people that are claiming you're Shannon? And why don't you just move on? Also, during the first episode, you spent all of this time telling everyone that you're a real person named Odessa. Yet when I run a background check on Odessa Bowell or Odessa Franklin Bowell, the only result belongs to a woman from Colorado who died last year. So... Get some fucking help, Shannon.